This video will introduce the maintenance when the water pump doesn't work or smoothly for this series sparing system. Check remote control settings. Make sure channel 9 is setting to the C in CTX app, CH9 is set to pump in a green assistant app, work mode in sparing is set to the single pump mode. If the above settings are correct, then check the water pump. Check if the water pump is blocked first. Unplug the pump signal cables, nuts, water pipes, and two screws. Take out the water pump. Open the upper casing. Check if the employer or pump are blocked or corroded. If the valve situation occurs, you should to clean or replace it in time. Reinstall the pump, power on, and check if the water pump works normally. If the pump still does not work, then check if the pump is failed. Power off and unplug the battery, disconnect the multifunction, cable and water pump. Remove and rear cover. Take out the sparing tank. Unplug the two pump signal cables on sparing tank and the nozzle signal cable on rear drawer body. Insert the pump signal cable into the nozzle signal socket respectively. Click C button and check if the water pump works normally by listening to the pump rotation sound. If the pump does not work, it indicates that the pump is failed. If the pump works normally, then check the cables and other modules. Check if the link between the pump signal socket kit on the tank secured board and 4-way 24 pins cables on the front circuit port is working normally. Disconnect the 4-way 25 pins cables plug. Set the millimeter to beep gear. Connect the pump signal socket to the three pairs of pins and the sockets that control the pump signal on the four-way 24 pins cables. If there is a beep sound, it indicates that front drawer body, secured bolt, or the flight control is failed. Please skip to the 3.50 to find the relation inspection method. If there is no pump sound, then check if the link of the tank circuit board is working normally. First, unplug the tank control cables. Use multimeter, check the three pins that control the pump signal on the tank control cable, socket and pump signal socket respectively. If there is no beep sounds, it indicates that the tank security board is filled. If there is a beeping sound, then check if the tank control cable is damaged. Unplug the tank control cable. Use multimeter. Check the three pairs of the pins and socket keys that control the pump signal on the tank control cable. If there is no beeping sounds, it indicates that the tank control cable is failed. If there is a beeping sound, then check if the link between the two ends of the four-way 24 pins cables is work normally. Use multimeter. Check the three pairs of the pins and socket keys that control the pump signal. If there is no beeping sound, it indicates that four-way 24 pins cable are failed. Disassemble the front reader bracket and the cable bracket on the reader bracket and the cable bracket on the frame to replace a new four-way 24 pins cable. If there is a beeping sound, it indicates that front drawer body secured board of flight control is failed. Disassemble the flight control components. Use multimeter to check three pairs of the pins and the socket keys that control the pump signal on the four-way 24 pins cable and the flight control secured board. If there is a beeping sound, it indicates that the flight control is failed. If there is no beeping sound, it indicates that flight control security board is failed. Unplug the revent cables and remove the screws to replace it. Follow us for more practical queries and updates.